Well, I have here today the Buffalo Gourd. And uh, this is one of those episodes where I'm gonna say to you right now, don't do this, you know, take this as an educational video because I, I've been seeing a lot of conflicting information on whether or not this thing is edible. Some websites say flat out fruits are not edible. Other ones say that you can eat it, but there's a lot of um, rules. Fresh young gourds can be eaten like squash, but once they uh, mature, they're no longer longer edible due to uh, a bitter compounds that they get. I mean, if you do want to eat it, do a lot of research and uh, blame somebody else if you get poisoned. Don't blame me. This was sent to me, by the way, by Rowan. So Rowan, thank you very much. The best resource that I found for finding anybody saying that you can eat this is uh, PFAF or PFAF.org, I believe. It's a really great site if you want to find out um, information on the edibility of fruits. And even that one, they're a little hazy with things. Um, they say that you can eat the seeds of this, but even then it says the seeds are used uh, ground and mixed into like cakes and biscuits or um, used to thicken soups. Doesn't really give you a whole lot of confidence of just eating a handful of seeds. And it also says that the fruit, when it is unripe, can be cooked and used as a vegetable. This is unripe. This is not a ripe one. So uh, supposedly the flesh on this is edible when it's like this. But there are a lot of resources online that also say, don't touch this thing, it is poison. It's really not edible. I've tried to eat these guys before, they're very bitter. Another thing that is very interesting about this one is that it contains saponins. Saponins are a natural soap. So in the past I talked about certain fruits that had this, like the soap berry uh, has saponins in it. A lot of saponins, and I tasted some and it tasted a lot like soap. And you can actually like clean your laundry, clean your hands with it. I'm not sure if it needs to be ripe or not, but uh, I'll see if I can wash my hands with it too while we're at it. Let's, uh, let's find out. So there's the inside. There is really not a lot of flesh. Although people say you can eat this when it's unripe, there's not much there to eat. There's like a teeny little bit of flesh on the outside, but that's about it. It smells like a gourd. You know? <laughs> Vegetable-y, squashy. I definitely think you can't eat this raw, but I'm just going to taste a teeny bit just to see what it's like. Oh yeah. No, no, no. You don't want to eat that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm going to rinse out my mouth. I'll tell you what that tastes like in a second. Ever just go under your kitchen cabinet, grab like a bottle of something without even like looking at it and just taking a swig of it? That's what that tastes like. Um, it tastes what I imagine poison tastes like. So uh, when people say you shouldn't eat this thing, they're, they're onto something. I think even cooking this is probably not going to do anything, but let's find out. Uh, there are a lot of resources online that are conflicting about this. So let me see if maybe that's what it takes. I'm gonna cook this thing and then all that flavor of chemical will go away. Kind of doubt it though. I think this is inedible, guys. I'm gonna boil them like a squash, so probably like five minutes or so until they start to turn translucent. You may notice a lot of bubbles. That is because this has soap in it. <laughs> this is not gonna taste good. It is, it's lathering up as I boil it. Oh, no, 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 don't eat it. Ugh, I have to rinse out my mouth again. Um, yeah, tastes exactly the same. It's not any better. Um, no, you do not want to eat unripe buffalo gourds. All that information online where people are saying that you can eat it, um, it's not true. I mean, maybe there's some way of preparing this that'll be okay, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. 
but that is an unripe buffalo gourd and it tastes like it's going to kill me. So it's not so great as a fruit, but how is it as a soap? Rinse my hands a bit with just water, see how that feels. Feels wet. Now what about if I just take some of this? It feels a bit like I'm washing my hands with soap. It's not like sticky or or anything. It's got like a little bit of a slickness to it. It doesn't really work up a lather, but it does do something. There's one problem with it though, and that is makes your hands taste like chemicals. Even though I rinsed my hands off pretty well, it imparts that chemical into your into your fingers. So if you're going to clean cutlery with that, it's gonna make your food taste like chemicals. So maybe not the best thing for that sort of use. Maybe it'd be okay for cleaning laundry or cleaning yourself, like if you're in a survival sort of situation, but it's not a really good soap. So I'm feeling like a little bit like it's doing something, but not as much as other things I've used, like the soap berry. That one actually got like a little lather going. So this cat here that is uh, just built up an appetite because she knocked out all of those gourds. I had them in a bag on the floor and she just like knocked them all out of this, uh, this plastic bag here and now, <laughs> and now they're everywhere. So although you can't really eat these things, you wouldn't really want to eat them and probably don't want to make soap out of them. They do make really good cat toys. She sought them out, and they are now hers. <laughs> okay, so some time has passed since I filmed that last clip of video that you just watched. Right after I finished filming that, I got an email from a blog, Pull Up Your Plants, pullupyourplants.com. And uh, Kevin over at Pull Up Your Plants was just like, hey, do you need any help researching anything? And I was just like, well, actually, coincidentally, I just happened to be uh, confused over buffalo gourds because I don't know if you can really eat them. I see conflicting information. Do you know anything about buffalo gourds? And he's like, yeah, I got them in my backyard. So first off, he said, yeah, you probably shouldn't eat these things unripe and that he's never heard of anyone eating them unripe. The only uses that he's seen for this is for um, getting rid of pests. He said that he actually took some of the flesh of this and blended it up and sprayed it on his plants and it kept uh, locusts away that were eating his plants. And my favorite piece of information that he gave me is that you can eat the seeds on this thing, or at least he ate the seeds on this and didn't die. However, you don't eat the seeds on one that looks like this. You actually want these things when they are completely dried out. And he was kind enough to send me some. So when you take this and you let it ripen all the way and dry out, it will look like this. It turns a different color. It weighs nothing, like all of the uh, all the water in there has evaporated and it's all dried out. I am going to prepare and eat the seeds on this, but before I do that, I do want to talk about one other use for this thing and probably the most common use for this thing, Christmas ornaments. As a source of food, the gourd may be cooked like squash when it is young and the seeds may be roasted or ground into meal when the gourd browns. I pick them to dry and decorate. Since painting gourds with my granny, I have loved their versatility and beauty, and these are perfect for crafting. Yeah, that's a pretty cute thing to do. So uh, I am going to eat the seeds on it, but first.
so I, I painted it to look like an unripe buffalo gourd. Yeah, so that's dried out to nothing. There's just like this very fibrous little cobweb of, of flesh in there, but amongst that, seeds. So let's uh, sift through all of this. So this is kind of a tedious thing to do. Uh, it's not exactly easy to get these out, because this material is just like so uh, knotted. You've got like this little rat nest of fiber here, but it's uh, it's coming. It is definitely not as bad as uh, some more difficult to extract seeds like that of the Osage orange, but uh, yeah, still, still pretty rough. Okay, so here we have it. Um, I managed to separate it out. It wasn't actually that hard. What I found helps is that, uh, just from doing this a lot, is if you take this little fluffy stuff full of seeds in your hands and you like rub it together like this, the seeds come out without too much trouble. Uh, the problem with that is um, you're left with a bunch of fiber mixed in. So what I did is I went through and I picked out all the large pieces and now uh, there's still little bits of flesh all throughout here, which, uh, I mean, you can go through and pick out every like little tiny microscopic little piece, or you can cheat by putting it in a colander. I don't know this, that this is going to work, but I'm thinking it will. Believe it or not, I haven't done this before, but I'm going to kind of like agitate these. That way the little bits of soapy flesh will go through. Remember, the flesh on this is full of saponins. So if you don't get all that flesh off, then the seeds are going to taste like soap. Yeah, it's working. I got a lot of it out, but there are still more like stringy little bits that wouldn't go through the, uh, the holes of the colander. Another thing that you can do is uh, what you can do with like coffee and just like blow the chaff out. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not. It does actually get some of that out. Uh, I'm gonna have to sweep after this. <coughs> oh, just inhaled a piece. Ugh, still soapy by the way. Drying it out doesn't get rid of that soapiness. And I've got some water here. Let's give them a rinse also. And as you can see, there are little soap bubbles popping up. So yeah, still, still soapy. So I'm going to uh, do my best to get all this off. Probably gonna have to strain this out a few times. Ah, uh, God, this thing is just a nightmare to do. It took forever. And, you know, I still didn't get all of it. I got as much as I could possibly deal with without losing my mind. Anyway, I'm gonna lay this out on a paper towel. That way it can uh, just like dry out a little bit. All right, well, here they are. I did the best I could. And what I'm going to do now is take a little bit of oil and a little pinch of salt and sprinkle them on the baking sheet and in they go at 350 degrees for I don't know. Okay it's been about 10 minutes and these things are done. Don't know if these are gonna be good or not. Don't really have high hopes. Uh, I'm gonna start with, uh, what is that? Eight of them. Oh no, mm -mm. maybe I didn't clean them properly. I mean, I tried, <laughs> I really tried. Um, 
Hmm. They, the initial taste is fine. The initial taste is um, sunflower seeds. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. It's a, it's a flavor that you get a lot from uh, different fruit seeds. It's almost identical to uh, also the Osage orange. But there's an aftertaste that's really bad, and that aftertaste is like bitter soap. It's not as strong as the flesh, thankfully. Uh, it's just, you know, barely there, but it is there. I wonder if, um, if maybe this is something that can be processed in a way that would be, um, that would get rid of that soapiness. You know, like Native Americans did eat the seeds, and I'm imagining that maybe they did something like they would do like acorns. Native Americans to take the tannins out of acorns, they would put them in like a, like a cloth sack and they'd throw them in a river and then the water would rush through the acorns and slowly leach out all the tannins. It's brilliant. Me putting that in a bowl and swishing it around, um, it, it, I mean, I'm sure it helped a lot. Uh, putting it through a strainer, I'm sure that helped. You know, picking off manually and blowing it up into the air and like everything that I did to get that soapiness out of there, uh, I think did do something but uh, probably not enough. I'd say this thing needs to be like put in a river or like under like rushing water for like days and then maybe you can dry it out and roast it and it won't taste like soap, but it tastes like soap. So I think that's all I have to say about the buffalo gourd. Uh, once again, thank you so much to Rowan for initially sending these to me and uh, Kevin over at uh, Pull Up Your Plants for uh, giving me more information and sending me more of them. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye. I would like to give a shout out to Smarter Every Day, AltPod, and the Harbor League Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. If you haven't heard of it, Patreon.com is it's how this channel happens. It's how I can afford to keep this YouTube channel going. So if you haven't checked it out, please take a moment to go into the description below and click the link there. Uh, I also have t-shirts for sale over at my web store. A link to that is in the description as well. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.